Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Shire Farm. This is a map by Flusty94. This is 287.64 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, I'm going to read the description before we get jumping into it here. It says, Welcome to Shire Farm, located in the beautiful rolling hills of the Cotswolds. Uh, Shire Farm is a large, mixed, arable, and silage contractor. There's probably some, uh, <laughs> some translation issues here. But anyhow, uh, 58 fields of varying sizes, UK-based geo for seasons. Um, and they said that that is by Disturbed Simulations Industrial Estate, featuring multiple production and sell points for your harvest. Forestry land available for the loggers. UK license plates built onto the map. Credits to Oxygen David for that. Everything can be sold individually. The hedges, sheds, trees, and other placed objects. You can freely build your farm. 100 collectibles to find as well. So perfect. Let's go ahead and hop into it here. So a new farm road. You start off with this. Oh, this, this is all one big chunk of land. All right. And that concludes field 1, 30, 35, 3. It uh, looks like the BGA up there, which do we actually own that? Oh my goodness, we own a lot of stuff on here. Anyhow, we'll go back down to that. Uh, wow, a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so yeah, we'll probably walk around the farmyard and then we will either hop in something. We have a truck. Oh, we do. So we'll hop on our pickup, probably drive out to the BGA and I don't know, we'll try to work our way around. It's kind of hard to see where the roads are. It looks like that's a road there. So potentially is there a road that goes that way though. No, maybe we'll just hit that in the flyover. Anyhow, we'll figure it all out. But if we continue down, here's the new geo that is in here for you guys. Kind of like that you can plant wheat and barley kind of around the same time as everyone else. Go down here. I'm just going to scroll through quickly all the different crop types. If you're curious where one is sold at, make sure you guys hit the pause button. That will show you where it's at. Or you can slow down the video uh, down below if you're curious as well. But uh, yeah, I just do this because it's easier than every time we get to a place going through every crop type to see what we have. And well, also to an addition, it looks like we have yeah, 50,000 liters of fuel. See if we have anything else as well in here amongst all these products. Nope, nothing else for us. So uh, there we go. We have a few pieces, of, quite a few pieces of starting equipment here. So take a look at that in a second. Uh, you start with $100,000 in new farmer mode and no loan. Um, we do have a chicken coop, a cow barn with feeding robot, pigsty large, pigsty large, sheep barn large, and horse barn large. You have a lot of stuff on here. And looks like contracts and fields you don't own. Productions, you have a carpentry uh, factory, a cereal factory, a grain mill. You have a dairy factory. Um, you have two BGAs, good gravy. Uh, another furniture factory, a spinnery, and a stone crusher. Holy smokes. New fire mode, you start off really uh, a lot of stuff here. But uh, anyhow, okay, let's go ahead and we'll walk around the farmyard here. Well, first, let's take a look at what we start with, I suppose. It's probably a good idea. Wow, we got a lot of equipment. Okay, small tractors, we have a Kloss Arion 660. Medium tractors, we have a Kloss Axion 670 and an Axion 830. Large tractors, we have a Kloss Axion 960. Looks like we're running a Kloss farm. Um, under Harvesters, we have a Tryon 750 by Kloss, of course. And then we also have a header for that, as well as... Do we have a header trailer? We do, down here at the bottom, a header trailer. We have a Forge Harvester by Krona. We also have a large mower, wheel loader, telehandler. We have a pickup truck and an XCV or a John Deere XCV 865M. Um, we have a couple of trailers. We looked at the header. There's the headers for your uh, Krona Forge Harvester. So you got a corn and other crop header, and then have your grass one here. You have a plow, cultivator, you have a cedar here, you have a planter here, you have a fertilizer and lime spreader there, slurry spreader, you have a forage wagon, you have a baler, you have a bale loader, you also have a silage fork for your wheel loader, for your telehandler you got a bucket, pallet forks, and bale forks, you got a little low loader here, we looked at the header trailer and then you got four different weights in here for you, so a lot of equipment you're starting off with on here, so a lot of equipment, but you know, let's wander around the, the farmyard here a little bit. So, quite compact, so I'll probably miss a few things. This is your sleep trigger. This is your chickens over here. But the, where's the trigger at? Oh, it's over here. I forgot. Right here. Yep. 360 chickens for you. Got some junk around the farm, but they did say it was all sellable. So, does that mean, like, everything? Placed objects? Looks like, yeah, looks like placed objects. Let me see if I, if I sell that. I only got rid of that. Oh no, I got rid of all those little things. So if that, just beware of that. Stone lime crusher there. Yeah, I got rid of all that stuff. All the different kind of junk around. So apologize. Should have maybe left it in there till later. I thought I was just going to get rid of that one thing that was highlighted. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff, uh, stuff going on on the farm here. As we continue around here, we have our stone crusher here. Lots of storage, lots of stuff out and about. Are these bunker cells? No, they're not. Okay. I'm always curious about those. I'm gonna double check. 
Looks like we got uh, one of our large cow barns here. That's everything on this side. If we travel around this way. Houses around back there. We got more storage, more stuff. Lots of... We got so much equipment on this farm. Uh, goodness. Yeah, there's a lot of equipment. Okay. Repair trigger, which is really nice to have that available on your farm. Lots more storage. Is this the same one that was over there? Yeah, this is that same one. So this is the one that was the feeder robot that we just took a look at. There's some Munker silos for us. Got a silo here. Fuel tank here. I like that that's a custom looking fuel tank. There's no more storage in there. It's already got 50,000 liters. But anyhow, you get a lot of stuff on this farm. I'm trying to, I want to quickly make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, that's everything that's over here. So if you look at the, the map here, looks like we got our horses. Both of our pigsties are up there. Cheaper down there. We own, again, everything, it seems like. And then, missing, missing something else? I feel like we're missing some more. No, that's everything. Okay, I thought there was another cow barn for some reason, but nope. Okay, I'm just crazy. It's fine. Um, let's go ahead and hop in our truck. If I remember where that's at. Over this way, I think. Yeah, there it is. And we will go ahead and start doing a little bit of driving about. Yeah, this looks like an exit here. Like this way out here. We own the field on the right and the left of us. This is technically all one field according to the map. But this just takes us out to this field. How do we get on this road? Collisions on the fences or like the hedges, excuse me. They said you can sell hedges too. Was that true about... We should own these, shouldn't we? Hmm. If I demol go into demolish... Nope, I'm not seeing a way for... Uh, interesting. And it could be something I'm doing wrong. I apologize if that's the case. There's probably... There probably potentially could be a way, but I just could be doing it wrong. So, um, yeah, where are we at? We're right down here. We're going to drive out this way. I'm curious what's down here. Do we not own that? Yeah, let's go ahead and maybe add in some money and see if we can't uh, figure out what's going on with some of this stuff here. Because I'm curious. This kind of looks like there could be something down there. Oh, no, just those fields. Okay, we'll sell that back off. Then, yeah, is there anything else? There's something going on down there. So I, I do want to drive down there and just kind of see what's going on. And then we'll drive up over there to that. So we'll, we'll keep kind of making our way through and see if we can't take a look at everything on here. There was a couple maps that came out today. So this should be the one coming out for... I'll let you, gosh, this guy's going so fast. I'll let him pass if he wants. But there's a lot of stuff that... Uh, yeah, there's a couple maps that came out and a lot of stuff on this map it looks like, so... Also, just looks like it's just another little farmyard, so that's kind of nice. Have that available to you. We'll keep driving up over to whatever that was on the highway over that way. Drink a coffee as we're going. Still shows on the mini map that I own that. I sold it back off. Oh, I got to sell the buildings on it. That's what it is, because now that I bought it, you have to sell those buildings off. So disregard. It's all making sense now. And what is this up here on the right side of the road? Is it just like a decorative area? Yeah, pretty much. Looks like there could have been something on there. That must have been a decorations I got sold off. I apologize for that, that I sold off those decorations. That kind of sucks so that they went across the that it goes across the whole map when you sell the decorations. That's a really nice forestry area too there clear that out and farm it if you wanted to, but there's a lot of money to be made there. So far, it's a pretty good looking map. There's a couple things that aren't maybe my favorite, but I don't like this little hill that's still concrete because it kind of gives you the illusion you can drive down it. Is there a way to get out of here that's normal? Yeah, right there. That's your entrance and exit here. So in here, in this little complex here, we have our carpentry, cereal factory, grain mill, dairy, and biomass heating plant cell point to our right there. So a lot of stuff going on here. We're going to hop back out down here and take a look at some of the stuff around here before we drive up this way and hopefully finish out up there. So we should be able to just knock out everything uh, going up that direction there. And I apologize. I'm a little congested, so you might be able to hear that a little bit as I'm talking. So I apologize about that. All right, as so we keep going, let's just hop over here. But through here, it looks like there's some... Did it sell 
Okay, we gotta load back in with the buildings in here. This is a little ridiculous. So if you sell the decorations, it appears to have sold all of my buildings off. So anyhow, I will be right back with you guys here in a second. All right, so I'm loaded back in before we sold everything off. Here's that one area where I said, sorry about the decorations. So they're a nice little town area now that we actually have some buildings there. Um, we'll drive around. Oh gosh, yeah, I just sold everything off. I wish it'd be more segmented. I mean, it's still nice that you can sell that stuff off, but I don't think it should sell the store building off if you have that on there. Yeah, there's more decoration like cars in there and the shops and stuff like that. This fence wasn't here before, that's for sure. So that, that means that all of that gets sold off when you sell that. Wow. So, okay. It is a nice feature, but at the same time, yeah, we didn't see any of this before. So here we go. We got ourselves our repair trigger right in here. Drop trigger right there. Another repair trigger there, which is kind of cool, actually. Animal dealer here. We have a couple sell points here as well. So we have the Grayson Fuel. And then we also have the, gosh, there we go, supermarket sell point. Up around the corner, we got Shire Grain, so we go take a look at that. But, wow, it actually looks like it's a place when you don't sell the st all the placeables off. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's kind of nice that you have the ability to do that. But I wish it was more segmented area by area. Like, you could sell the stuff off around the production point. So the stuff off around, you know, X, Y, or Z, it just kind of makes a little bit more sense. But that's just my opinion. That bridge is a little abrupt, too. Whew. Here's one over that. Here's the Shire Grain sell point. Now we'll just go ahead and, ooh, we're going to hit that guy here. Not careful. We'll go ahead and just flip a flip a Yui here. Oh gosh, I didn't even see that car coming bright red. Why not say to be driving? Here I am driving on the wrong side of the road too for the UK. And then right to the right, we just have our sheep farm, which you can see uh, right through there. So there's that for us. Now let's head up to take a look at the top portion of the map, and that one should have no surprises for us. But at least we got to see a little bit about what the map is all about. Uh, cleared of all the life, basically, of it. Alright, we'll drive up this way. The house that I'm sure I probably deleted on accident. And coffee there. And then here we have a cell point. Right back there in the back corner, you can see it. The Shire allotments. Now we'll go up and we'll take a right, take a look at this stuff, and then head up to the kind of the rest of the animals that we own. the way up there should be right here yeah here we go take this turn head up here i do like the little street lamps though i like those they're kind of nifty i'm assuming they'll light up at night you want to probably should fast for a little bit of time here to get us to it looks a little bit nicer out for the flyover or midday-esque okay so here we go on the right hand side we have the pizzeria then the left hand side we have the farmer's market then we have it looks like the probably the fast food restaurant is what they're going to call it a fast food restaurant. We have the restaurant, spinnery, and carpentry. Spinnery, carpentry, and we own again all the all the different production facilities on this map. See so a nice little shopping center there. There's a collectible you can see on top of that roof, or that shed. All right, we'll head back out and just head up and over to the last little chunk of the land, and then we'll do a flyover to kind of wrap up the uh, wrap everything up for us. Be wary if you're going to sell that stuff off. Make sure you save the game first and take a look around so you don't yeah, so you don't get upset that you sold it all off and you actually want it on there. Okay, so here we go. Right here. If we just take a look around here. We got, again, some decorations that I'm sure I could have sold off. I'm sure I did sell off before. Another silo up here, which is kind of nice. You have another fuel tank up here, which is empty. Then we have um, some of our animal pens over here. We have Pig Pen 1. We have pigsty two right over here. And then is this horses are up here, aren't they too? Yeah, where are those guys at? They're over on the other the front side. That's what's back here though. Looks very muddy. Ah oh, yes, here are our horses. Right here for us. There you go. So let's go ahead and hop into flight mode and do a quick flyover of the map. So again, you got this area here, the pigsties, the horses there. Nice little setup there, like that. Now if we head across this way, this is going to take us over to the BGA, which we have not seen yet. You can see all the fields. Pretty good looking fields down there. Got our BGA, decorative buildings I'm sure I destroyed by selling. I don't know, I just feel like I destroyed everything now when I sold it. Uh, and then we head down this way, you can see the road kind of goes this way, hooks up to the main road here. 
Then you got more fields down here at the bottom section of the map. Little water area here, and those are those couple of sheds and stuff. And that decorative house and all those decorations that I sold off that we didn't see before. As we keep going, nice big old forestry area through there. We got our productions facilities here, our kind of shop area. We got our sheep here, um, shire grain over there in the corner. As we head up this way, again, and more decorations and our cell point down there. And then some cell points over here in a shopping center. And there's some little sheds about the map too, which I kind of like that. So depending on where you own land and stuff, you might come across a shed. And then we, of course, have the main farm right over here. But there you guys go. That is the map. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.